hello students so today i'm going to start your chapter number 9 basic geometrical ideas okay so before that you have to know some very basic and important things like what is point line segment line intersecting line parallel lines concurrent lines collinear points ray etc okay so one by one i'm going to explain clear the first one is point so a point in geometry is not really anything but some location or position in space and it has no dimensions that is no width no length or no depth okay point means just a dot okay point means just a dot and it has no dimensions if you just put a simple dot this is a point this is also a point this is a point okay and it has no dimension no width no length no depth etc next one is line segment so line segment means suppose there are two points this one point number a and point number b okay and if you connect this point a to point b so there is a line here isn't it and this line is known as line segment okay so when there are two points and you connect these two points by a line so this is known as line segment and this a b line segment is rep represented by a b dash okay a b or in the above it is a bar a b this one this is the symbol of line segment okay next one is line line means when a line segment is extended in both the directions endlessly we get a line so you can see this is a line segment and this is a line what is the difference between them in the line segment the line ends here in point a and in point b the line ends here but in case of line this one is point a this one is point b but it is not ending here you can see the arrow isn't it so arrow means it can go up to infinity and here also you can see the arrow so it can also go up to infinity understood mane eta line segment to je to point a aru point b ase he point aru point b to tate he hoy gol yar par aru ami bohai dibo nu aru yar par ami bohai dibo nu aru kintu line or khetrot ami ki koribo paru dui ta side e jehetu arrow disu so dui ta side e ami jiman morji himan eneke line to bohai bohai goi thakibo paru okay and this line is uh, named as ab and in the above you have to give the arrow sign okay both side arrow or simply you can name the line as l m n like that okay so this is the symbol of line and this is the symbol of line segment okay next one is intersecting line so you can see here there are two lines here one line is l and one line is m and when these two lines intersect each other at a point so this type of lines are known as intersecting line mane jetia dudal line e dale andalo ki koribo cross koribo aro cross korile eta point ot log lagibo take kua hoy intersecting lines okay next one is parallel lines so parallel line means two lines lying in the same plane do not intersect even if they are extended in both directions are called parallel lines you can see this one and this one these two are lines line l line m and when we extend these two lines they will never meet each other because these are equal in uh, equal in distance okay so they will never meet each other you can see this one also p and q line both are in equal distance so they will never meet at each other in anywhere but if you draw lines like that this one and this one so at some point they will meet okay so at some point they will meet so this type of lines are we cannot say that these two lines are parallel okay these two lines are not parallel because at at, at one point they will gonna meet but in case of these lines they will never meet each other because they are in the same distance okay so this type of lines are known as parallel lines means those lines which are in the same distance or they never meet each other these are parallel lines so this is line l line m so we can represent l parallel m this is the symbol okay l parallel m this is the parallel symbol and here also p q so p parallel q this is the symbol of parallel clear 
Next one is concurrent line. So three or more lines are said to be concurrent lines if they all pass through a common point. So you can see how many lines here line one, two, three. L M N. So when three or more lines pass through a same point, it these are known as concurrent line. Okay, you can see line L M N all are passing through a sim sim single common point that is O. So these are concurrent lines. Next one is collinear points. So three or more points are said to be collinear points if they lie on the same line. Okay, you can see this is a line, and in this line, one, two, three, four points are lying on the line. So this type of points are known as collinear points. But suppose there is another point. This one is suppose E. So this is not a collinear point. Okay, you can see the those points which lie on the line, like A, B, C, D, all are lying on the line. So this type of points are known as collinear points. But E, you can see E, E, it does not lie on the line. So this is not collinear point. Okay. Next one is ray. So ray means when a line segment is extended in one direction only, we get a ray. And a ray is named by end point and any other point on it. Okay. So when a line segment is extended in one direction only. Jeti ami adal line ok matra eta direction ot extend kuriyo paru. Jane ke a to direction ot extend kuri so a to direction ot extend kora nai. So this type of line segment is known as ray. Here also you can see the line is extending on the left side but not in the right side. Means only one side we can extend. But in case of line you can see we can extend the line in both direction. Correct? both direction in we can extend but in case of ray we can extend only in one direction and in the ray there are two points d and e so we can name the ray as de and above you have to give the arrow sign okay here also this is also a ray it is extending in the left side so a and b these are two points and we have to name the ray as a b arrow sign okay now let's move on to our let us practice 9.1 so you as you can see this is the diagram so on the basis of this diagram we have to solve the answers okay so number one use the figure given alongside to name number one is line containing point f here said it is line okay line containing point f so which one is point f this one is pointed and in the point f which one is a line this one this is a line isn't it this one this this uh, this line segment is also connect with the f but this is not a line it is a line segment isn't it but the only line is this one means which one e f or f e okay this is your answer so line containing point f is f e or e f clear because in the point f there is only one line this one e and f okay so answer is f e or e f and the above you have to give the lines symbol number two line passing through d so which line is passing through d this is the point d so which line is passing through d only one line is passing through d this one so the line is a e okay so the line which is passing through d is a e this one a e next question number three a line segment parallel to line passing through d so there is a line which is passing through d and the parallel line is this one c f c f is parallel to the line which is passing through d okay so c f is parallel to the line which is passing through d so our answer is c f this is the line segment c f is the line segment so you have to write the symbol next number four line on which o lies so on which line o is lying so the line is o c or c o okay line on which o lies so this is a line and in the line o is present so our answer is o c or c o okay next 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ड्रॉ अ रफ फिगर एंड लेवल सुइटेबली इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केसेस सो नंबर वन इज पॉइंट ए लाइज ऑन पी क्यू सो पी क्यू मीन्स दिस इज अ लाइन सेगमेंट एंड ऑन द लाइन सेगमेंट देयर इज अ पॉइंट कॉल ए सो हाउ हाउ कैन वी ड्रॉ दिस सो दिस इज पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू मीन्स वेन वी ड्रॉ अ लाइन बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट्स इट इज नोन एज अ लाइन सेगमेंट इज इन टेट एंड बिटवीन द लाइन सेगमेंट देयर इज अ पॉइंट कॉल ए सो यू कैन ड्रॉ द diagram like this okay so pq pq it is a line segment and on the line segment a a is a point clear number 2 point a lies on ef and it is you can see the arrow means this is a line and here pq this is a line segment okay so see the difference so this is a line ef ef okay and there is a point a on the ef line clear number 3 line l contains e and f but not d clear so there is a line called l this is the line l this is the line l and in the line there are two points e and f e and f but not d so not d so d is not present on the line d is present just outside the line okay so only e and f is present on the line d is not present on the line clear so this is how you have to draw number 4 line op and aq meet at o means there are two lines op is a line and aq is also a line and they both meet at point o so this is aq and this one is po clear this one is a q line and this one is p o or o p clear and these two lines are intersecting each other and meeting at a point o o okay number 5 ray ray pm and q are two opposite rays okay so you can see that ray and both are opposite so and in in case of both the rays one point is common that is p and p correct so pm i have to draw in one side and pq i have to draw in another side so our middle point is p and this side is pm and this side is pq so this one pm ray pm from p it is going to m and in this direction we can extend so it is a ray pm ray and here also it is pq so p q okay p q is a ray and both are opposite this ray is going in the left side and this ray is going on the right side so both are opposite rays number 6 line segment ab and line segment cd are parallel so draw the two lines parallelly means distance should be same okay so this one is line segment ab and this one is line segment c d and both are parallel okay so this is how you have to draw the diagrams number 3 use the adjoining figure to name so this is a figure and according to the figure we have to name them okay so number 1 is all the pairs of parallel lines so how many parallel lines are there can you see so you might think that this is a parallel line this is also a parallel line and this is also a parallel line but if you observe closely then you can see that this line and this line these two looks like parallel but these are not actually parallel because you can see in this portion the uh, distance of the two lines are little big but in this portion the distance of the two lines are small and in that case if we extend these two lines so at some point they may meet in case of r and q also in this position the distance is little big and in this position the distance is small so if you extend these two lines so at some point they will meet but in case of l and m both are present in same same distance okay so i can say that only l and m these two lines are parallel okay so all the 
pairs of parallel lines how many parallel lines are there only two this one and this one l and m okay l and m so one number answer is l and m number two all the pairs of intersecting lines intersecting lines means what when two lines meet each other at a point this one is intersecting like these two lines this line number r and this line is m so you can see r and m intersecting at this point again if you see q q is intersecting with m at this point again if you see p p is intersecting with m at this point so like this lots of intersecting lines are there so we have to name them so for that just look at here this is question number one three number l and m and the two number intersecting lines are these are l and n l and p l and q l and r m and n m and p m and q m and r m and q n and r p and q p and r so these are the intersecting lines okay now number three lines concurrent at d so concurrent means what concurrent means i told you that when there is a single point and in the sing and through the single point when three or more lines pass through it is known as concurrent lines isn't it so lines concurrent at d so in the d point how many lines are concurrenting this one this one is r again this one is p and this one is l means total three lines are concurrenting at point d okay so this is your answer l p and r number four three collinear points collinear points means what i told you when there is a line and in the line three or more points are there these are known as collinear points and in line n how many points are there one two three points are there therefore our collinear points will be a b c okay a b c this one is a b c clear so this is your answer next question is how many lines can pass through how many lines can pass through number one one given point means through one point how many lines we can pass you can see this is a point and through the point we can pass many lines you can see there is some gaps so between the gaps also we can pass many lines through one point here also we can pass many lines through one point means uncountable number of lines we can pass through only one point understood uncountable means jibur ami count koribo noaru mane iman line yar majare eta point or majare pass hoy jabo pare je ami a count e koribo noaru therefore your answer will be infinite lines or infinite lines okay so through one point we can draw or we can pass infinite number of lines clear for number two is two given points means from two points how many lines we can pass so you can see here there are two points and through these two points we can pass only one line okay so these are two points point number one point number two and through these two points we can pass only one line okay so your answer is one line clear thank you